Okay, okay. Hey guys. So today we are going to be making a tea mug and a saucer. Kind of a little more complex. Um, this handle is a really cool trick um, that we'll be using a little bit more. It's um, part of like the bridge um, function of Maya, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up a new scene. Um, I'm going to be using a reference for my tea mug. Um, I'll link it in the description. So in case you guys want to use it too, um, you can, um, or you can just eye it kind of just whatever you want to do. So go ahead and go into the front view over here using your space bar, go up to view image plane, import image. So I'm going to go ahead. I put my, um, just within all of my tutorials. If you download it, it'll just be in your download folder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scale it up with R and then move it up, move. I'm going to do the teacup first. So just move the bottom of the teacup to the ground. Maybe scale it up a little bit more. Okay, sweet. Go over here on the right and where it says display, click looking through camera. This way it won't be in our other four views. All right, looks good. Go ahead and make a cylinder. And then you can move it to the ground by putting one into the Y function up there at the top. And then go into vertex mode and move the vertices to the top of the mug. Um, okay, looks good. So next what we're gonna be doing is just adding some multi-cuts in. So go into object mode, I hold shift and drag right click over to multi-cut. Um, there's a couple different ways you can find multi-cut. I think this is also a multi-cut tool, so totally up to you how you find it. Um, hold control, and then uh, if you do middle click, it'll do like halfway points for you, which is what I'm gonna use because I like that it does that. Uh, click Q to go back into selection, and then go to vertex mode. Next, select all those top vertices, and then click R. Hold control and drag this green arrow. All right, and then go ahead and just drag them until you get um, this bottom vertex to line up with the silhouette. Then select the top three and do the same thing. Just scale it. Okay, now that we got our general silhouette, we're gonna go ahead and add some more uh, multi-cuts where the uh, handle's gonna be. So you can just hold control and then click here and it'll do one. So just do it where that handle is intersecting on both of those sides. All right, looks good. Go ahead and press space. We're gonna go back into here. Click Q so you're in selection mode. And then we're gonna um, go into face mode and delete these top faces because mugs are hollow. Now this looks a little weird. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, go into object mode and extrude. Now up your thickness to like if you go on the negative side you'll have to reverse the mesh and then you'll get into kind of like a complicated uh, thing about beveling and, and stuff like that so we don't want to do that so go out um, point two. all right and then you're gonna go into edge mode and you're going to select both of these edges and bevel them do two segments and make it a pretty small fraction maybe like 0.3 looks pretty good Good, so now when you click three, now the edge is a bit more straight and it doesn't curve into each other. Um, let's see. We can go ahead and make the handle now. Go ahead, go back to the front view, go into face mode and select those two faces that will make up our handle. Next, go back into perspective view and do edit mesh bridge. Go into the option mode or option box um, instead of just clicking it. What you should have, click on smooth path plus curve and then do custom, do 10 divisions and everything else can stay the same. Go ahead and click apply. If yours went into your cup, click on automatic and see if that helps. Um, if that doesn't work, um, go ahead, shoot me a message and I'll try and help you out. Sometimes the bridge function can be a little weird. So, all right, looks good. Let's go ahead and go into um, front view. Go into wireframe. Do you see how you have this little like wire here going through? That's actually the curve of your bridge. So go into control vertex. You do that by holding right click on that curve. And then these little purple dots, you can actually click W 
and move them around to change the curve of your handle. So go ahead and play with them. You don't wanna touch these um, kind of like base points. You don't wanna to touch the original ones cause then it'll mess up your curve and you don't wanna do that. So just go ahead, try and get like as close as you can. You don't have to be exact. Um, you don't even have to follow it like I'm doing it. So feel free to kind of just do whatever you want. All right, looks good. Um, if you press three, you can see how it's gonna turn out. It looks pretty nice. Um, I am going to go ahead and bevel this bottom edge because we don't want it to curve in like that. So bevel that, give it two segments and pretty small fraction, I would say. Yeah, maybe 0.2. Let's see how that looks. Much better. Okay, looking good. So I think that's basically about all we need for this, um, this part. Go into object mode, click W and just move it up. Um, that's not good. Hold up. Cool, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, all right, instead what we'll do is we'll just hide it. So do control H, that is hide. Um, and now we're gonna make a new cylinder. Go ahead, go into your front view, and then we are going to be scaling this cylinder to be the saucer. So you can, um, you don't have to move it on the ground, um, but I am. I'm gonna move the saucer on the ground and then put the cylinder to one on the Y axis, just like we did for the cup. Go ahead, go into object mode, and then I'm going to scale these vertices down. So our saucer is probably about this, this tall maybe? I'll leave it like that. And then you can click R and scale them up to be the complete width of it. And then you can do the same for the bottom ones, just like a little bit more. Now go into object mode and get your multi-cut tool. And now you're just gonna be making multi-cuts along um, to make a smoother saucer. So go ahead, when you make all those multi-cuts, just go into vertex mode, click Q, and then you're gonna scale them by holding control and dragging up on that top axis to just be moving them in or out, kind of whatever you, you need. Um, this is also just like a base. Don't like this isn't how your saucer is going to actually look. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right, looks like a pretty good saucer. I think it's a little too tall. So I'm going to select these vertices right here and click W and just drag them down a little bit. All right, that looks like a better height. So now what we're going to be doing is deleting those top faces just like we did for the mug. Um, since this guy is also technically hollow inside, go to object mode and extrude and up your thickness to like 0.2. All right, looks pretty good. I like the little inside thing. If you press three, that's how it's gonna end up looking. Um, this actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and bevel um, my edges because I, I tend to like how that looks a little bit more, um, but you don't have to. Kind of just whatever you think looks best for your model. So, um, all right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna bevel this top edge, or this bottom edge too. Bottom edges are usually something that you do wanna bevel um, because they'll end up looking really odd if you don't usually. Um, that's just my advice, but you do what you please. All right. Okay, so do you see these weird um, kind of like lines in this area where it's like little inlets? That's um, because we did not bevel an edge. So go back to one and bevel this edge. Since it's, um, since it's reaching a 90 degree angle, it ends up looking a little odd. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now we can go back and um, go ahead and unhide, I think to unhide something, it's like, Shift H? Yeah, Shift H. Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the ground. I'm gonna move the saucer down a little bit so it's not so right on top of the mug. Um, let's see how close we wanna get. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so 
that's basically it. If you want to, you can combine the meshes by selecting both of them in object mode and doing um, mesh combine. This will just make them like one object. Um, I'm not going to do that because I think eventually I'm going to end up texturing them differently. Um, but yeah, super simple saucer and a cup. If you like this tutorial, let me know. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.